our second and final race here on day two is from, also from front well, it's a three mile two southern national handicap chase so number one is ectrab special for james say two plainly dangerous for martin Lee, and three red rose cafe for paul rhodes four lay oki for thomas rogers five america for paul o'neill six grandeur for john morgan seven dollar ethics for hems eight is dane mill for mr beckworth alpie cat is nine for darren thompson and ten is all guns firing for vinnie gerard the 25 to one outsider star has gone him away Southern National Handicap Chase. We get into the first. Oh, we've lost one. Grand Dewar's gone. That's definitely O'Neill Hill. Uh, a Paul O'Neill horse, I think, this time. But I could be wrong, because I'm hopeless with these silks. America's still there, so maybe not. But I'm lucky to connections. And the first of the 16 takes a horse. And with three miles to go, it's all guns firing. It's going to lead us. Vinnie Gerrard's 25 to 1 outside up. We make everything from here. This is the figure of 8 course we use here at Fontwell. The only remaining national hunt figure of 8 course left in the country. We get to the second, which is a ditch. Everybody's got over it. There's a couple of slower jumps, but it is all guns firing with a four length advantage from Dalla Ethics, red cap, green silks. Against, next to him against the fence is plainly dangerous. Outside of that is Alpicat. The Great, which is America. And a length or so back to the Oki for Thomas Rogers. And the outside of that is Ektrab Special. It's a James Shea horse. Good old Professor Rhodes has got Red Rose Cafe in here. Just sitting uh, towards the rear against the fence. Long way to go. You get to a plain one. Everyone's over it. Didn't take it particularly well. Was America with a bit of a mistake. Just the last one I mentioned is Dane Mill. But it is all guns firing. Happily leading by about five to six to Alpicat, who's just on his own in second now. And they're being followed through pretty much by the rest. America out a bit wide here. Fontwell, plenty of bends on a figure of eight. You don't want to be too wide. But it is all guns firing. From Alpicat, America. Defense is plainly dangerous. We've got Ektrab Special closest to us with the green silks and the maroon cap. Followed through by Naoki. Towards the fence, Red Rose Cafe and Dala Ethics. Took that particularly badly. Shuffled himself into last position. And then we've got Dane Mill. So they're all over the six. All still on their feet, other than uh, the one we lost at the front. The first. Sand road. Everybody gets over the seventh. So Dalla Ethics at the rear. And stepped over that one. But it's still all guns firing. By that four to America and extra special. Up against the fence, the purple six are plainly dangerous. The outside of that is Red Rose Cafe. Wider still is Alpicat. And they okay. Widest of all in that little group is Dane Milk. And pushed along towards the rear is Dala Ethics. I mean, particularly enjoyed the, the ground or the course so far. But we're still being led by all guns firing as they swing right handed. From America in second out wide. And Ektrab special. Alpicat. Slow jump at the rear there by Plainly Dangerous is shuffling him down the pack now. Well, we've still got over a mile and a half to travel. In the Southern National Handicap Chase. Here at Fontywell. Yeah, ninth, they take it well as a plain one downhill. We ride downhill now. And it's still all guns firing. Though he's leads down to just a couple now from America. Grey, Hectrab Special. Moving towards the fence is Alpicat. Then Red Rose Cafe for Paul Rhodes has uh, gone no better. Oh, another poor jump there by a couple. America went straight through the top of it. Loses his second position. So he's been going wide all the way round. Obviously, he thinks there's better, better ground in the centre of the course. It's all guns firing still, led from the beginning. Trying to make every, every post a winning one. From Alpicat in second, Ectron Special in third, America is fourth, and we've got Red Rose Cafe. It's a fence plainly dangerous still. Why do those is Dane Mill, and then they Oakley and Dala Ethics just bringing up the rear. I don't think it's still win this as we come down to a mile from home. Still got another five fences to take. It's all guns firing still from Alpicat, 
drive special America. So you one, two, three, four. The rest are being led by Red Rose Cafe. It's been pushing on the leader. Oh, the leader and Alpicat and all guns firing went straight through the top of that. It's allowed a tribe special to take up the lead. Takes them over the 12th. Which was five from home. So still another four to go. Ek tribe special now. All guns firing. Alpicat and America. Red Rose Cafe is still there in a line of four horses. They Oakley, Plainly Dangerous, Dialer Ethics and Dane Mill as they go over the 13th. All guns firing didn't take it particularly well. Ek tribe special just... Uh, Took it smoothly, so it's all guns firing off the bridle, as well as Egg Tribe Special now. Alpicat seems like they might have a little bit left. They Oakley moving well now. America needs to do a little bit. Paul Rose's Red Rose Cafe starts to move out wide. Is Dame Mill and the two of the rear dollar ethics are plainly dangerous. So up front is a line of three, all guns firing Egg Tribe Special and They Oakley for Thomas Rogers. They're a length away from Alpicat, running on well now is Red Rose Cafe. We've still got half a mile to travel, and it's They Oakley that leads now from Egg Tribe Special on his outside, on his inside. Inside all guns firing. They're a length and a half away from Alpicat and Red Rose Cafe. They go over the small ditch. There's two to jump and it's They Oki. Ectorab Special and all guns firing. These still are the one, two, three. But Ectorab Special noses in front as they swing slightly right handed here. Alpicat and Red Rose Cafe. Dane Mill still trying to run on, but it's Ectorab Special that starts to pull away as poor old all guns firing dr drops back and it's Ectorab Special. They Oki. Alpicat coming to throw down a challenge. Dane Mill as well. So it's inside the furlong and a half. One to jump. And it's Alpicat that takes it up in the final furlong. Alpicat now leading from Bayoki on the inside. Ectra Special's going backwards. Poor job by Ectra Special, but it's Alpicat pulling away here. It's going to be a win for Darren Thompson from a Daniel running on well into second. Bayoki going to hang on to third and fourth with uh, Red Rose Cafe, but it's a comfortable win for Darren Thompson in the end with Alpicat. Daniel was second. Red Rose Cafe ran up for third. Bayoki, I think, coming up for fourth. So the Southern National Handicap chase goes to Darren Thompson with Alpicat. A pretty plain name for our Darren Thompson. But it's a winner from Dame Mill in second. Red Rose Cafe runs on for third, so Darren Thompson takes it. Dame Mill for come, Mr. Beckwith comes second. Red Rose Cafe for Paul Rose was third. They Oki Oak for Thomas Rogers was fourth. Fifth was Ectrab special for James Shea. And now we're going to head over the Irish Sea off to Fairy House for the last few races of day two.